It's English time. It's English time. Come and let's have fun. Read, write, speak, and watch. But listen, participate, and experience the magic of words. Welcome to a brand new acquisition of knowledge. This is Respectacular Learning English with Teacher Reed. Hi everyone! Hi everyone and welcome once again to another episode of Result Delightful Lessons. And here's Teacher Reese and I am ready to teach a new lesson this week. Our lesson for this week is all about sources of information. First, let me ask you, do you know some ways on how to get or gather information? Well, let's find out and you may now enrich your informational skills using these various information sources. One is a book. When we say book, it's a source of information that presents topics in chapters. Take note of the word chapters. So, if you want to know a title or a topic for you to read, then you go to the chapter of that book and then you may find that information you are looking. So, a book is a source of information that presents topics in chapters. Number two is dictionary. Are you familiar with a dictionary? Well, when we say dictionary, it is a source of information that presents words that are arranged alphabetically. Yes, words are arranged in alphabetical order. So if you want to know the word beautiful, you must locate it with or under letter B because the first letter of the word beautiful is B, right? Now your question is, why do I need to use this dictionary? Well, you use this dictionary because you want to know the meaning of that word. Look at the first letter of the word dictionary. It's letter D, right? So, a dictionary gives definition of word. D, definition of word. That's it. A dictionary provides a meaning of various words. Number three is encyclopedia. When we say encyclopedia, it is another source of information that provides short factual entries. Yes, factual entries about various subjects or topics. Any topics, you can get information from this encyclopedia. Factual. When we say factual, truth reality katotohanan so that is encyclopedia number four is the newspaper yes it's newspaper this is a source of information that gives us updated and current issues or trends so when we say newspaper it is all about giving us news what happened yesterday and then we will read that information today updated which means it's up to date it's now what is happening now you can read it through the newspaper number five is the magazine when we say magazine it's another source of information but this are presented in terms of articles articles written by professionals uh, based on uh, various topics or interests. You may find it through that magazine. Magazine is a source of information that provides articles. It's a collection of articles of various interests or various subjects. That's magazine. Number six is journal. When you say journal, it's another source of information it's a collection of articles written by scholars or researchers. If you want to read researches, 
then you may use the journal. If you want to know write-ups, written works by scholars, their articles, then you may use this journal. Number seven is actually the internet. Are you familiar with the internet? Yes, what is in now is the internet. Or they may say internet, internet, or internet. When we say internet, it is actually a platform. It's one way of getting information, a source of information using the browser. So you may use now the browser. You may, if you want to know information about certain topic, then you can just use the internet. You can surf the internet. That's the term, surfing the internet so that you can get information. It's the fastest way of getting information actually. So that is all about the internet. Source of information that I gave you, we have books, dictionary, encyclopedia, newspaper, magazine, journal, and of course, the internet. Very good. So those are just some of the sources of information that you can use in order to be updated or you to, to know what is happening to the society or to the world. You may use one or more of these references. We call them as source of information or references. In our so one way of remembering these uh, sources of information is if when we say book, it's all about the concept of chapters. If you want to know the definition of words, then you can consult your dictionary, right? Then if you want to know facts, even just short facts about any or any topic you want to know, you can use encyclopedia. Very good. Then if you want to be updated, you want to know what is happening at present, then you may use newspaper. Then if you want to read articles, various topics or interests, then you may use magazine. Then if you want to read a scholarly written articles, then you may use journal. Then if you want to get a fast information, then you may use the internet. Now children, for your asynchronous task, I want you to answer learning task 1 on page 33 of your module. So you may use your English notebook. Make sure to read the directions. Okay? Let me remind you that you can submit all the answers of your activities this week by February 7 to 12. I am looking forward for your answers. Again, keep on learning, stay safe, and see you again on my next video. Goodbye, kids. So there, I hope you learned something new today. Keep on learning, stay safe, and see you in another episode of the Spectacular Learning English Video.